Well, yeah. Eddie would always kind of laugh and be like, man, you guys, like, you and Cena would always come back and, like, and, and joke and do this back and forth. And yeah, yeah. Because he's so witty. If Eddie was still here with us right now, what do you think he'd be doing? You know, Eddie had a great mind for the business. Great mind. He just didn't want to be on the road anymore. Mm. I remember him. He loved his family a lot. He really, really did. And he wanted to be home with his family. And I remember before he passed, you know, probably six months before, and I remember him coming to me and saying, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be here anymore. I said, what do you mean? He said, I don't want to be, I don't want to wrestle anymore. I said, well, dude, you drop out. And do yeah. what am I, he, and he got mad. What am I going to do? What else am I going to do? He's like, this is what, this is what I, we do. We wrestle. Yeah. And I said, you're right. No, I know. But I go, man, it's your hat, your light, your family life is much more important yeah. than you know, being away, what does it matter if you're away from them all the time? Yeah. That's really why I left WWE. I, uh, my kids at the time were eight and 11 maybe. And uh, I just didn't want them growing up without a dad. Yeah. And just being on the road, I'd already been on the road for like 20 years. And uh, I didn't want to be that wrestling uh, casualty and divorce from wrestling and the whole thing. Yep, you know? yep. Everything you work hard for and you, you lose it because, you know, it's, it's got to be that happy balance. So I didn't want, I didn't want to be divorced. I didn't want to have my kids grow up without, without a dad. And, yeah. uh, and that's kind of why I left. And th that's funny because they really don't remember me being gone all the time. Wow. Little bit, but they're like, God, I was there for their whole, you know, junior highs and high school Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm encroaching on this myself because yeah. you know um, I'm going to be a father in four weeks. Here, yeah, and I travel a lot for yeah. what I do, and I'm trying to figure out the balance here. Of man, it's it, it's sense. tough because you got to pay the bills, and this is the way you pay the bills by traveling. But you're you know it's that happy medium, man. You're you, why are you doing all this? You're doing it for your family, so you have to enjoy that part. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. And congratulations, by the way. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Oh, it's uh, I'm, I feel all the emotions right now. Right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm all of these things, but uh, it just feels like it's, it's flying by here. And it will fly by. I look back now. My kids are twenty and twenty-three. Wow. And I was like, God, remember when they were little babies? Like we were just trying to get by. You, you don't know. You, there's they don't give you a uh, a manual like here. Like, yeah. you know, you're just trying to get by. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I, I I can't wait until they. They start walking, you know, so that, you know, they don't have to carry them all the time. Then they start walking like, God, slow down. You know, it's like, God, it's, it's, it's so tough. But every year was, every age was, was so awesome. Now they're yeah. back at it right now. And it's like, oh, do you remember when they used to do that? Do you remember when they used to do this? So now, man, we'll hopefully we'll get grandkids one of these days. Not too soon. But... <laughs> I really appreciate you coming by. Thanks for having me, man. Totally.